Good morning. Welcome, everybody. Hope everybody had a great Labor Day weekend. Welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. Uh, I want to remind you, if you want to join the show and ask me a question, either with your video or just audio, I have a link in the chat box that you can click on. We tried that on Friday. It worked pretty well after a couple bugs. So uh, we still have the comment section, so feel free to comment, and I'll post the comments on here as well. And uh, good morning to you. And so here's where I want to start today, and that is that in August, the biggest winners were the home builders. More than one in five homes purchased was brand new. The highest market share for new builds since March 2008. Now, I don't know if I'm reading this wrong or not, but uh, those are closings for August. Those contracts were written way back when. Remember, it's taken almost a year to get a house built. So I kind of caution against looking at that headline and going, wow, new construction is just going like crazy. Um, it's really slowed down in new construction. And you're seeing uh, finally starting to see price drops out there on their base prices, which usually takes a while for that to show up. Seems that some places new construction is cheaper than buying used homes. You know, it always is until you look at the landscaping, the window coverings, <laughs> the uh, ceiling fans. So it's uh, um, it's going to be a lot of give and take as we move forward. Now, today we have 18,989 homes on the market. Staying right there. Remember, these Labor Day numbers are going to be kind of screwy. We had 3,922 new listings come on over the past seven days, of which 2,481 went under contract. That's lower than about 400 homes. And again, it looks like this. And I caution you that every Labor Day that we have this big dip, just like we do every other holiday. So um, that's going to go down. It's probably going to go down even farther tomorrow, probably down to 2,300, 2,200. And you can see that new listings are continuing to decline. We had this little blip up right here, but now they're down. So um, it's... Uh, um, it's just an interesting one to watch. Now, I also saw, taking a look at our active listings again in the market with Cromford Report, that plateau that I've been talking about, staying right there. It's just not budging. New listings just took off like crazy down here. Here we go, straight up, and then just boom. So Bryce is asking the questions, is that number of listings the entirety of Arizona or just the Phoenix area MLS? Um, short answer is yes and no. Here's the complicated part of that. Um, it's basically the greater Phoenix area. But if I have my license and I'm in the uh, uh, Arizona, the Phoenix Association of the MLS, then all of my listings show up. But let's say I have also joined the board in uh, um, Payson or Tucson, that association. Well, then my listings will show up in that count. So it's primarily the greater Phoenix area with a sprinkling of listings all over the state. It gets kind of confusing, but it's there's no way for them to filter that out. So um, it's, I mean, I could show you on a map um, exactly what it looks like. In fact, why don't I do that right now, as long as we have that question teed up here and see if I can get the little green dots to show up for me here. And it doesn't appear that it wants to cooperate. So, so much for that idea. <laughs> what we do have is pending listings took a little blip up. And this is because, remember, interest rates kind of went down a little bit, down from 5.75 down to 5.1. And that kind of went up. I expect this to turn yet again because rates did not have a good week. Um, the uh, um, They went up to almost 6.2. Two, I believe we're sitting at. Let's take a quick peek here. Um, this one is showing 6.02 as of this morning. And I'm going to talk about this bottom chart here in just a moment. But uh, so pending listings, which have had in August, look like we were starting to increase a little bit, have taken another turn and they're going to slow down. And I can see that on my seven day moving average. Now, uh, that doesn't mean that uh, it's going to stay there, but as long as rates stay above six, I think it's just going to continue to get slower and slower. And it's having an impact on average pricing, as you can see here. This is average price, monthly sales price per square foot. 
So you can see that it's going down. Now, a comment was made the other day reminding me greatly of my uh, analogy of skiing down the slope and going so fast that you're going to blow past the lodge. Now, I was referring to sales prices as they're coming down. I also remember saying a while back that if we see listings start to come up and they start coming up quick and they blow past 7,000 active listings, it's time to list your home. And I was not too far off. Now we're coming down. So what is the indicator coming down? And it's going to be the acceleration at this point. Right now, I'm seeing sales prices coming down and uh, um, listings staying flat. So before I say we're about to blow past the lodge, I'm going to have to see another spike in listings. That's going to be our canary in the coal mine. And what we're seeing here is the Cromford Market Index. Look at this. They're finally kissing. They finally met in the middle. You can go back and go back to our insane years here. And you can see this is the number of, this is a supply index. Supply was way down here, just like it was here, way down. And then demand was up here. This is when we had our hugest amount of price acceleration. Those red lines way above the blue line. Now, these have met. If these cross like they did here, see how the supply index went up? While the demand index went down, this huge gap in the middle means nothing but price declines. So right now we're just touching right there in the middle. And if this goes up and this one goes down, we're going to see some price declines. But it depends. It depends on how fast that help that happens. Now, I think uh, 2000, the rest of this year, you can count on about 1.5%, 1.2% per month in prices dipping. That's what we're seeing. Um, so, but it's interesting looking at the futures charts on interest rates. And the futures are basically what the traders are thinking is going to happen and what they're telling us through the market. And I know this is a busy chart, but what they're showing you here is that they expect by June of 2023, December 2022, that rates will be down. These are this is uh, 10 year treasuries, I believe it is. So uh, change in federal hike expectations. That's what they're saying here. So they're not expecting any more hikes going forward as far as the traders are concerned. Now, the Fed can jump in and they can say, well, you were wrong. <laughs> They've been kind of saying that before. So we're seeing a definite, oh, and let me talk a little bit about Open Door. Open Door today still has 1,650 homes on the market and uh, that they're trying to get rid of. And in um, August so far, they went from selling 179 homes to 477. The reason I might bring them up is they're putting out huge price declines, price decreases. And so buyers are jumping in and picking them up. I mean, I've seen them go down 150,000. They seem to have an unusual amount of condos and townhomes all over the valley. Um, so if you're inclined to get one of those, watch those prices carefully. But uh, they're having a fire sale. And that's that's starting to affect some of the comps in your neighborhood while they deep discount. Um, so we have to see how long they continue that. And I suspect they're going to continue that until they deplete their inventory because they certainly don't want all that holding costs, the carrying costs of keeping all these homes on the market. Now, offer pad, not as aggressive, not so much. But they didn't go on this huge buying spree like Open Door did. I mean, some of the things I've seen that they picked up, it's like, why'd you buy that? <laughs> Some of them are terrible. Are these the same experts that said that 3% rates by year end? Yes, they are. Um, they are and they aren't. These are the traders. Um, the experts, the ones that I see that are far off are places like Zillow, Realtor.com, and CoreLogic. None of those ever hit the predictions. Um, so open doors, losing money left and right. How are they keeping the doors open? Well, they have deep pockets. They have a lot of investors there. So, um, you know, they're all hanging on to this hope that their model will eventually turn around and uh, they'll start making money, especially in other services like title and lending. I don't see it. They entered a partnership with Zillow. Uh, that should help them lower their advertising costs because Zillow gets, what do they say, something like 20 million hits a month on their site. So Open Door has got a collaborative effort with them to help buy and sell homes through the Zillow platform. Uh, and as usual, Arizona is going to be one of the test markets there 
We always are. <laughs> hey, let's try that. Even when I was in the food business, new trends that were coming out, new products were always tested in Phoenix for some reason. We just must have a good mix, good demographic mix. So they go, well, if it sells in Phoenix, then it can sell anywhere. So that's what Open Door is doing. I think that uh, we're, they have 1,600 homes. They sold 400 homes, 477 in August. So do the math. We got another three, four months of them trying to purge the inventory. And the closer we get to the holidays, the slower things get. So they're going to have to keep deep discounting more and more as we go along. So that's what's happening in our market today. No big news this week. I am going to be interviewing uh, a water expert. Uh, I call him a water expert. I'll share his credentials when I when I post it. I'm going to be interviewing him actually tomorrow, but I'm not going to do it live. So I'm going to interview it, and I'm probably going to post it on Sunday night because there is no more of a greater conversation and concern in this market <laughs> than water. And a lot of opinions and a lot of really wild opinions. People either, oh, we're fine or you're crazy. There's hardly anything in the middle. <laughs> you're nuts. We're going to build more houses. We're going to run out of water. So I am no expert in this water thing. So I want to dig in and take a look and see what's going on. So in the meantime, everybody have a fabulous Tuesday. Take on the rest of the week. Take care.